This is Bob Delaney welcoming you to another baseball game brought to you by the makers of Valentine Beer. Once again, Mel Allen, Red Barber, and Phil Rizzuto are at hand to bring you the play-by-play. Well, looks like they're all set to go down on the field, so let's us get set as the Atlantic Refining Company and your Atlantic dealer for the 26th straight year as baseball's largest continuous radio and TV sponsor brings you Yankee Baseball. This broadcast comes to you by courtesy of the Atlantic Refining Company and P. Ballantyne and Sons in cooperation with Sports Network by authority of the Yankees. It's intended solely for the private enjoyment of our listening audience. Well, hope you're all set now for the ball game with plenty of the crisp refresher Valentine beer. See for yourself why over five million glasses of Valentine beer are enjoyed every day. We're all set now for the Yankee baseball game, so let's go down and pick up the starting lineup. Not for you. For the New York Yankees, leading off and playing second base, Bobby Richardson. Batting second and playing shortstop, Tony Kubek. In right field and batting third, Roger Maris, who now has 51 home runs, just nine behind Babe Ruth's record, with 26 games in which to get him. Mickey Mantle in center field, batting cleanup. In left field, batting fifth, Yogi Berra. Doing the catching and hitting in the sixth position, Elston Howard. Bill Scarin batting seventh, playing first base. At third base, batting eighth, Cleve Boyer. And pitching and batting ninth, Whitey Four. The men in blue are coming out of the A's dugout now, along with Hank Bauer. And here comes Ralph Hawk out of the Yankee dugout. And the lineup for the Kansas City A's leading off playing third base, Wayne Causey. Bobby Del Greco will be batting second, playing center field. At shortstop and batting third, Dick Hauser. Darren Johnson batting in the cleanup spot, playing right field. At first base and batting fifth, Norm Seaburn. Haywood Sullivan will be doing the catching, batting sixth. In left field, batting seventh, Leo Posada. Jerry Luppe, who had a slight virus attack yesterday, is all right and is in the starting lineup, batting eighth at second base. Pitching and batting ninth, Bob Shaw. The umpires for today's game calling balls and strikes Ed Hurley. At first base, John Flaherty. Umpiring at second, Jim Hunnichick, and over at third, Bill Kenneman. Well, that's the way things line up. And right now, the umpires and Hank Barr and Ralph Hoff looking out. So it's the big crowd in right field. Some of the fans were sitting atop the fence. But the public address announcer just told them that they'd have to get down, and they have. On the scoreboard, they're putting up the scores, and in the eighth inning, they have Washington leading Detroit 11-6. But we're just checking the scores, and uh, just about a minute ago, they had Detroit leading Washington 6-1 at the end of eight. But we'll wait and see. Right now, our national anthem. by their captain, Dick Hauser. By the way, that score was wrong on the scoreboard. At the end of eight, it's Detroit six and Washington one. And we'll give you a complete rundown of scores in a little while. Right now, do you have plenty of Salem cigarettes, Andy? Going out to the mound for the A's, Bob Shaw, he's 1-8 and lost 10 this year. And against the Yankees, he's 1-1. One one. Lifetime against New York, he holds a winning percentage of five wins and three defeats. And his lifetime mark in the big leagues, 44 wins, 34 defeats. Shaw making his 32nd appearance of the year and his 27th start, his fourth appearance against the Yankees. He beat the Yankees 6-1 back on August the 3rd, pitching a complete game. 
Stepping into the batter's box for the Yankees, Bobby Richardson, who has been on a hot streak. Bobby upped his average to 270, has 14 doubles, four triples, three homers, and 42 runs batted in. Richardson has had 10 hits in his last 15 at bat. And that was enough to raise his average from 253 to 270. But since July 6, Richardson has hit at a 328 clip. 69 for 210. Bobby Richardson. So Bobby's been hitting the ball solidly. <laughs> They're holding up the game momentarily while some of the fans are filing from the grandstand to the area in back of the right field fence. And they're going to have a crowd here today. And they've had good crowds the other two days. All right, Richardson steps into the batter's box. Ed Hurley signals, let's play ball. Frank Crosetti coaching at third. At first, Wally Moses as Shaw goes into the windup. First pitch of the ball game is bunted down third, but it goes foul. Man, Richardson's been practicing that button. He's really been getting it down. The reason Bobby's bunting a lot foul now, he was worried he was bunting too many close to the pitcher and being thrown out. So he's been trying to drop him right down the line. That's where it pays off. One strike on Richardson. Shaw comes back with a fastball, and Bobby takes the strike. He was going to push that ball between first base and the pitcher. Another butt attempt, but he held up. The breaking pitch had the outside part of the plate. Nothing in two to count. Up. Two strike pitch. High and tight. Richardson goes down. He's out. It hit the bat and Sullivan caught it. Man, that's something you never very seldom see. Richardson in trying to duck out of the way of a pitch that almost hit him. The ball hit his bat and Haywood Sullivan held on to it. It goes on as a strikeout. One of the toughest ways to get struck out, I'll tell you that. The ball just missed. Hitting Bobby Richardson. As a matter of fact, as Bobby fell to the ground, he let go of the bat and went about 10 feet out towards the pitcher's box. So it's one away, and here's Tony Kubek batting 285. 35 doubles, four triples, six homers, and 36 runs batted in. Tony got his sixth home run yesterday, a long cloud up the hill. There's a bunt attempt foul, strike one. So maybe the Yankees have found out something about Bob Shaw's fielding as the first two Yankee hitters have tried to beat out a punt. Again, the wind-up by Shaw. Fastball high, one and one. Jim Hotcher, the Kansas City A's star left-handed pitcher, is sitting on the edge of the uh, Kansas City dugout taking pictures of some of the Yankee hitters. I guess he'll study them this winter and find out maybe how he might be able to pitch them a little better. A 1-1 pitch, a swing and a miss, strike two. The Yankees take pictures of their hitters because they take them while they're in a slump and while they're hitting well. Then you can compare the different stances and what you're doing wrong. It's a real good thing to do. They do it in football more than baseball. Pitch to Kubek, a ground ball to second. Lumpy up with it. Throws to Steven, it's two away. Two up, two down, and now you'll hear the noise for Roger Mara. Roger Mara. Roger batting 277. 15 doubles, three triples, 51 homers, and 120 runs batted in. They overshift on Maris. Hauser is playing second base. Causey all alone between third and second. And Maris takes a pitch outside, ball one. They've got three men between first and second against Maris. And nobody down the left field line. Leo puts out of the left fielder way over in left center. Causey is actually playing shortstop against Maris. Here's the windup. The pitch is a check swing and it's low ball two. Two or nothing. Haywood Sullivan out to the mound to talk with Shaw. Now, we told you Roger Maris is now 11 games ahead of Babe Ruth's record setting pace of 60 homers set in 1927. But Roger needs nine in 26 games to tie Ruth's record. 
Even though the Yankees have 34 games left, Ford Frick, the commissioner of baseball, said he must do it in 154 games. And now Hank Bauer is waving Leo Posada way back in left field. Or left center, rather. They'll give Maris and Mantle those singles just so they don't go for the long ball. Here's a 2 nothing pitch. Strike on the outside corner. Maris, notorious pull hitter, has hit maybe three or four balls all year to the left of second base. And his home run yesterday seemed to be hit on a low outside fastball, a line drive over the right center field fence. Here's a 2-1 delivery. Ground ball at second base. Muffley is up with it. Over to Seaburn for the out. And Maris tried to pull an outside fastball that time. So the Yankees get down in order in the top of the first. Nothing across. And at the end of one half inning, it's New York. Nothing. And the A's coming to bat. Say, if your car idles a bit on the rough side, well, now don't blame the engine. It may be the gasoline you're using. You see, rough idling, stalling, and gasoline waste are often caused by air deposits that build up on the lower walls of your carburetor. But Atlantic Imperial washes away these dirt deposits, cleans your carburetor as you drive, and keeps it clean. Stop at your Atlantic dealer soon for Atlantic Imperial, the gasoline that cleans your carburetor and keeps your car on the go. Yankees, Whitey four. Whitey is 121 and lost for three. And against Kansas City, he's 3 0 this year. Lifetime against the A's, 20 wins, four defeats. Whitey with the highest lifetime percentage of any active Major League pitcher with 154 wins, 62 defeats. Making his 32nd start of the year and his sixth against the A's. Leading off for Kansas City, number two, Wayne Cosby. Wayne Cosby leading off. Cosby batting 267, 10 doubles, 4 homers, 29 runs batted in. Whitey's first pitch is low ball one. Coaching at third, Jojo White at first, Dario Lodigiani for the A's. Cleve Boyer moves in at third base, Cosby a left-hand hitter. Whitey's fastball foul to the right of first base, strike one, one and one. Ball took one hop into the first row of box seat. Now the 1-1 one -one delivery. A curve ball is in there. Strike two called. One ball, two strikes. Yankees have Barron left, Mantlin center, Maris and right. Boyer, Kubek, Richardson, and Scarron on the infield. Howard catching and Ford out on the mound. Whitey side on fastball, high and tight, two and two. Scarron is guarding the line against Causey. Two-two fastball inside, ball three, full count. Whitey Ford, who leads the American League in strikeouts with 175, trailed by Camilo Pasquale of the Twins with 170. Payoff pitch, a high fly back at second base. Richardson back, Maris coming in. And Richardson makes the catch backing up with Maris right in back of him. It's one away. That brings up Bobby Del Greco. Bobby batting 232, 10 doubles, three homers, 16 runs batted in. Sandy Koufax of the Dodgers leads the major league pitchers in strikeouts with 200. Ball of Del Greco, a little high, ball one. On deck, Dick Hauser. Curve ball hit foul outside of third. Down towards the Yankee bullpen, one and one. Whitey 
start his windup and stop. Now he goes back. 1-1 one, one fastball. High ball two. Two and one. Here's a 2-1 delivery. A fly ball to center field. Mickey Mantle moving back and makes the catch backing up. And Del Greco really got good wood on a low fastball. A line drive to send Mantle deep in center field. Two away. And it brings up Dick Hauser. Hauser batting 276. 22 doubles, four triples, three homers, 41 RBIs. 33 stolen bases. A young Dick Hauser, who is the team captain of the A's. Whitey's curve, high and away, ball one. Hank Bauer made Hauser team captain. Not too long after he was named manager of the A's. There's a ground foul outside of third. One and one. Detroit defeated the Washington Senators 7-4. That's the final score. Curve in the dirt. 2-1. Detroit changed pitches twice in that ninth inning. Fastball hit on the ground. Uh, let's go back to his right. The long throw... In time, they just did get Hauser as Tony flipped that ball over there. As you know, Kubek has a sore elbow. Can't get much on it, but he got rid of it in a hurry. So for the A's in the bottom of the first, nothing across. And at the end of one full inning, the Yankees nothing and Kansas City nothing. We'll take a look at the scoreboard. Baltimore at Minnesota. The Orioles are leading the Twins 2 nothing at the end of five. The White Sox leave Cleveland playing in Chicago 2-1 at the end of three. Boston at L.A. is not started. And as we told you, Detroit defeated the Washington Senators in the first game for doubleheader 7-4. Mossy the winner. Daniels the loser. Fox and Staley relieve Mossy in the ninth. Burnside and Klipstein relieve Daniels. Rocky Colavito home in the sixth. They have another ball game to play there. League. The Pirates defeated the Cubs in the first game 7-3. Given the winner, Curtis to lose it. Santo had two homers for the Cubs. Cardinals lead the Giants 2-0 at the end of 3.5. Marichal against Jackson. Dodgers lead Cincinnati 3-0 at the end of 4.5. Williams against Jay. And Milwaukee leads the Phillies 9-4 at the end of 7. McMahon against Green. Mickey Mantle, the lead off for the Yankees in the top of the second. Batting left-handed against Bob Shaw. Mantle's hitting 323 as a seven-game hitting streak. Mickey takes a strike just above the knees on the outside part of the plate. Mantle with 14 doubles, five triples, 46 homers, and 112 RBIs. The right-hander comes back with a fastball inside. Mickey was ready to bunt that ball. They are overshifting on Mantle exactly as they played Maris. The A's are just about the only team that will overshift on Mickey. With the exception that Wayne Causey is not playing deep at short as he did for Maris. And that Posada is not way over in left center as he was on Maris. But Hauser, the shortstop, is playing second base. Lumpy between first and second. Pitch to Mickey is over strike two. One ball, two strikes. Causey moves way back at third. One ball, two strike pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout for Shaw. And here's Yogi Berra. Number eight, Yogi Berra. Yogi batting 271. Nine doubles, 17 homers, and 51 RBIs. They do not overshift on Yogi. As a matter of fact, they play him just about straight away. One out, nobody on, no score. Top of the second. Shaw's pitch to Barra. Low ball one. Next pitch 
Chris Siogi is on the outside corner for a call strike. One and one. One delivers a changeup, hit in a short right field, and Darren Johnson coming in makes the catch. Yogi was pulled on that changeup, headed right off the end of the bat. Two way brings up Elston Howard. Kelly batting 349. 14 doubles, four triples, 12 homers, 54 runs batted in. Howard. First pitch to Howard. Curve a little bit low and away. Ball one. Jim Archer still taking motion pictures of the Yankee hitters. One nothing pitch. A foul coming back out of play. Back of the A's dugout. And a nice play by a daddy who brought his little boy. Gives him the ball. Youngster brought his glove, but Pop caught it without the glove. A happy youngster, we know for sure, is here today with that souvenir. The 1 1 pitch alley. High ball to 2 and 1. up by Shaw. His curveball hit high in the air to deep left field. Way back there, and that ball is over the fence for a home run for Elston Howard. Elston Howard hit a curveball way up in the air. As Leo Posada went back to the fence, we had to wait because we didn't know whether it was going to hit the fence or go over. And it just did go over to the right of the light tower for Elliott's 13th home of the year and his 55th run batted in the Yankees' lead, 1 0. First hit off Shaw, by the way, it brings up the Moose batting 281. Garin, 19 doubles, 3 triples, 22 homers, 71 runs batted in. There's a ground ball to Lumpy at second base. Jerry throw to Sebron in time for the out. So the Yankees come up with one run on one hit, the homer by Howard. No A's errors and nobody left. And at the end of an inning and a half, New York won in Kansas City, nothing. What does a truck driver think about as he drives? You know, this is a pretty good life. New sights to see all the time. Yeah, when you get back home after a long trip, they're waiting for you. Your own car, all ready to go. Okay, lady, be my guest. Gosh, I'm glad that car of mine is running right again. Boy, remember how rough it used to idle? The way it stalled? That was a great day when Harry told me about Atlantic Imperial. That gasoline that cleans your carburetor as you drive. Yeah, and keeps it clean. Now my little buggy drives like a dream. second inning, it'll be Darren Johnson, who will be batting cleanup for the Kansas City A's. And a lot of folks might be wondering why a 199 hitter will be batting fourth for Kansas City. For Kansas City. Number six. But with Whitey Ford out of the mound, the Yankees, rather the A's, know they are power predominantly left-handed. they got to have somebody in there. And Johnson has got the power, though he hasn't connected too often this year. He has seven doubles, two triples, six homers, and 22 runs batted in. Yankees one, A's nothing, bottom of the second. The wind up by Whitey. Fastball over, strike one call. Norm Seaburn is on deck. Change up low, one and one. One 
One one pitch, swing and a miss, strike two. Whitey got that letter high fastball right past Darren Johnson. When Ford comes overhand with his fastball, he's very deceiving. And more batters take a call third strike on that pitch. They look for the breaking stuff. Curve hit foul outside of third. Count holds it, one ball and two strikes. Beautiful day for this ball game here in Kansas City. Whitey's fastball line right at Boyer. Boy, Darren Johnson got good wood on that one, but right at Cleet Boyer at third base for the first out. A solid line drive. One away. Here's Norm Seaburn. Whitey Ford now wants to talk to the Yankee bat boy. And could be a number of things. Maybe a different glove that Whitey wants or a little rosin bag to put in his pocket or maybe his other spike shoes. The... We'll wait and see. It's nothing serious anyway because he didn't call Ralph Hauck or the Yankee trainer. He just called the Yankee bat boy. All right, here's Seaburn batting 282. Whitey's curve low and away, ball one. Seaburn has 26 doubles, four triples, 14 homers, and 73 runs batted in. Whitey's one nothing delivery. A ground ball to Scourin at first base. Ford has to cover. Scourin's throw in time to get Seaburn. That's two away. And it brings up Haywood Sullivan. Number eight. Sullivan batting 258. Sullivan. 14 doubles, two triples, five homers, 36 runs batted in. Sullivan. Yankees, one A's, nothing in the bottom of the second. Pitch to Sullivan, inside, ball one. One nothing, fastball hit on the ground, a third boyer coming in on the big hop. Fires it low to Scarin, who comes up with it. A backhand play that hit in the dirt. Nice play by the Moose. And the A's are retired in order for the second time in a row. Nothing across. And at the end of two full innings, it's the Yankees one, the A's nothing. And we pause for station identification. Good sound broadcasting for 1961. This is Quality Modern, WOKO, 1460 on the dial, Albany, New York. The time, four minutes before 4 p.m. Change your carburetor as you drive. That's what new Atlantic Imperial gasoline does. Keeps it clean, too. Try it and see for yourself. Forboard. Baltimore, two Minnesota, nothing at the end of five and a half. Pappas against Ramos. Pappas and Robinson home it for Baltimore. White Sox, two. Cleveland, one at the end of five. Grant against Pierce. And now Grant has just home it in the uh, sixth inning, and his ball game is tied up 2-2. Boston at L.A. hasn't started. Detroit defeated Washington 7-4 in the first game. Mossy to win it. Dan is the loser. Colavito homing. Pittsburgh beat the Cubs 7-3. Given the winner, Curtis the loser. Santo had two homers. Cardinals two. Giants nothing at the end of four. Marichal against Jackson. Dodgers three. Cincinnati one at the end of five. Williams against Jay. And Philadelphia nine. And Milwaukee nine at the end of seven. McMahon against Sullivan. Adcock and Smith homing. Here's Cleet Boyer who takes the curve low and away. Ball one. Boyer, batting 228, has 15 doubles, two triples, eight homers, and 43 runs batted in. Bob Shaw, the right-hander on the mound, comes in with a fastball that's in there. Strike called, one and one. One-one delivery is a foul tip, strike two. One ball, two strikes. Checks the sign from Sullivan. 
Comes in with a fastball hit on the ground. Backhanded nicely by Causey. The long throw in time to get Boyer by a step. That was a fine play by the A's third baseman. Taking a double away from Cleet Boyer. One out brings up Whitey Four. Whitey batting 185. Has one double and eight runs batted in. Here's the wind-up and the pitch to Whitey. It's low ball one. Causey playing way in the third base. The outfield very shallow on Whitey. Pitch is taken for a strike. One and one. Whitey bluffed the bunt. Ball, one strike, one out. Nobody on. Yankees one, A's nothing. Top of the third. Ground ball. How's it to his left? Can't get it. The base hit out to center field. Whitey hit a bouncing ball over the pitcher's head. And just by Dick Hauser, the shortstop. Single to center for Whitey. The second hit off Shaw. That brings up Bobby Richardson. Who, with two strikes on him, tried to duck out of the way of a high inside pitch. And the ball hit his bat. Held by Haywood Sullivan for a strikeout. Whitey declines the warm-up jacket. 90 degrees out here in Kansas City. Sheban playing in back of the runoff. Richardson, who has been uh, hitting that ball to right field very well. Whitey with a big lead. There he goes. They had the hit and run on. Luffy makes a beautiful play, but only because the hit and run was on. A tremendous double play by Jerry Luffy as Richardson on the hit and run hit one right through the middle. Would have easily have been a base hit. But with Ford running, Lumpy was going over to cover and came up with it, stepped on second, through to first for the double play. For the Yankees, at the top of the third, no runs, one hit, no A's errors, nobody left. And at the end of two and a half, it's the Yankees won Kansas City nothing. You know, something new has been added to the do-it-yourself list. Yes, now you can clean the carburetor of your car, remove dirt in the vital throttle plate area without even raising the hood. How? Just use Atlantic Imperial regularly. You see, dirt deposits build up on the lower walls of most carburetors. Now, in time, these deposits can affect the action of the throttle plate and cause it to feed the wrong mixture of air and gasoline to your engine. This results in rough idling, frequent stalling, and actual gasoline waste. But after a few thousand miles of driving with Atlantic Imperial gasoline, this carburetor dirt will be gone, washed harmlessly away. And for as long as you use Atlantic Imperial, you needn't worry about new deposits forming. That's why more and more people these days are using Atlantic Imperial. It's the quality gasoline that cleans your carburetor as you drive and keeps it clean. For Kansas City, in the bottom of the third, the bottom third of their lineup, Posada, Lumpy, and Shaw will face Whitey Ford. Posada batting 254, six doubles, two triples, six homers, 40 runs batted in. Big crowd here today to see the final appearance of the Yankees. The little rabbit pops out of his hole with a lot of baseballs, and back again he goes. All right, Whitey Ford is ready. Lined up by the left hand. The slow curve swung at it and missed strike one. Whitey right, comes back with another change up. This one a little low, one on one. All 
right. Whitey nods his head. He's got the sign. Fastball is high. Two balls, one strike. Here's the 2-1 delivery. Fastball is in there. Strike two, two and two. Ready for the 2-2 two -two delivery. Curry fouled off the end of the bat. Count holds it 2-2. Two two. The A's have scored only one run in this three-game series up to this point. And that was in the ninth inning of yesterday's ball game. And <laughs> said Hurley and Elston Howard waving at a butterfly. Looked like Hoyt Wilhelm's knuckleball. They didn't even touch it. Again, the 2-2 delivery. Slow curve. Hit to left field, but curving foul and going back out of play as Yogi chases it to the wall. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out, nobody on. 2-2 pitch foul back off the screen. The whistle you hear in the background is every time the rabbit comes up out of the ground and goes back down. Timing's a little off on the whistle. 2-2 curveball fouled out of play in back of the A's dugout. Still 2-2 two and two on Posada, leading off here in the bottom of the third. New York leads 1-0. Elkson Howard Homer in the second inning, the only run of the ball game. Two-two two fastball, right back at Ford. What a play he made. That was a base hit all the way until Whitey stuck his glove up. Man, you talk about reflexes. The pitcher's got to have them. As close as he is to that batter. And to be able to stick your glove up on a ball hit that hard. One away. Here's Jerry Lumpy. Lumpy did not play yesterday. Light touch of virus. He's batting 280. 24 doubles, 7 triples. One home at 31 RBI. The left-hand hitter. Pitch to Lumpy. as a curve. Hit on the ground at first. Skyron is up with it. And races for the unassisted put out. That's two away. It'll bring up Bob Shaw. Shaw batting 222, 8 for 55. No extra base hits, no RBI. Shaw bats him right handed. Pitch to Shaw, foul back, strike one. Whitey's curve, it lined a right field, a base hit for Shaw. A solid line drive between first and second. And there's the first base hit off Whitey Ford and the first base runner for the A's. And it'll bring up Wayne Causey, who popped the second base in the first inning. Bob Shaw credits his rise in batting average this year to Joe Gordon, who has helped quite a few of the A's hitters. Gordon, who was the manager before being fired. Two out, the pitch to Causey, high and tank, ball one. Richardson playing deep at second base. Slow curve inside. Ball two. Two and nothing. Bobby's playing out on the outfield grass. Howard rubbing the ball up real good before throwing it back to four. Big hole in left center field for Causey. Stretch by Whitey. 
pitch, low and away, ball three, three and nothing. A three nothing pitch, low ball four, he walked him on four straight pitches. So the A's have run at first and second with two outs and the batter Bobby Del Greco who lined deep to center field in the first inning. Two on. Yankees lead one nothing. Here's a stretch by Whitey. Pitch to Del Greco. Foul back strike one. Whitey stretches. Change up high and away. One on one. One ball, one strike, two out. On deck, Dick Hauser. Again, Whitey steps. Curve hit on the ground to third. Boyer up with a fair ball. Steps on third for the fourth play. So the ace threat goes by the boards in the bottom of the third. No runs on one hit. No Yankee errors. Two men left. At the end of three innings, it's New York one, Kansas City nothing. For the Yankees, Tony Kubek will lead off in the top of the fourth. Tony bounced to second in the first inning. Lined up by Shaw and the pitch to Kubek is over the outside corner strike call. Some of the statistics are blowing down the field right near Wally Moses, who's going to pick him up. And Wally's reading them. Pitch to Kubek, a fly ball to left field. Leo Posada, playing him perfectly under it, makes the catch. That's the first out here in the top of the fourth, and it brings up Roger Maris, who bounced to second base in the first inning. And there they go, shifting on Maris. Looks like a football formation now. Guarding against the long pass. Man, the whole left side, from shortstop to third base and from left center field to the foul line, nobody's there. Here's the windup. Pitch to Maris, outside ball one. And Shaw continues to pitch Maris outside, knowing that Roger likes to pull and is going for those 60 homers. But I tell you, if later in the game they have this shift on Maris and it's a close game, all he's got to do is bunt one hard down the third base line. He's got a double. one nothing pitch. Change up. Low ball two. Two and nothing. Darren Johnson has his back to the wall in right field. Lined up by Shaw. Two nothing pitch. Pulls ball up. Man, did he get out in front of that one. Oh, oh. He almost hit it in back of him off the lower part of the upper deck. He kicked all the way out to Darren Johnson in right field. So Maris isn't a pull hitter much. Two balls, one strike. Now the 2-1 delivery. Change up. Outside, ball three, three and one. Three and one on Roger Maris. One out, nobody on. Wind up by Shaw. Kicks, delivers a fastball outside, ball four. There's the first walk issued by Bob Shorn. It brings up Mickey Mantle, who struck out swinging in the second inning. A 
They are not overshifting on Mantle now with a double play possibility. One out, Seaburn holding first against Maris. The Yankees lead 1-0 in the top of the fourth. The stretch and the pitch to Mickey. Inside ball one. Hank Bauer is trying to get Posada's attention or Dick Houses. And they want to move somebody and they move Hauser over close to the second base. Here's the stretch. Pitch to Mickey. He pops it up foul outside of third, but it's drifting out of play. Very seldom would you see a club in which opposing managers have to stay awake nights figuring out a defense against them, such as against Madeline Maris. Maris leading away, a 1-1 count on Mickey. Pitch doesn't count as Ed Hurley steps on the button, which ejects the spray of air at home plate. That kind of scared Mickey, and so Hurley called time. The pitch was right down the middle. Hurley is against all these innovations of uh, sprays at home plate and rabbits jumping out of the ground with baseball. That shook Mickey up a little bit, and Hurley. Just as you're ready to swing that air, come shooting out. You think you're back in Coney Island. 1-1 one, one pitch. Inside. Ball two. Two and one. Two and one on Mick with one out. Shaw stretches. Pitch outside, almost a wild pitch. Three and one. And the fans booed when Maris was walked. Now they're booing with a 3-1 count on Mantle. Maris leading away. Pitch is inside ball four. Maris was not going. So Maris and Mantle walk, and you can hear the reaction of the crowd. Not a very friendly reaction. Brings up Yogi, who'll fly to right field in the second inning. First, Maris is second. The stretch and the pitch to Yogi way outside, ball one. So suddenly Shaw, who was getting the ball over, has lost control. Walking two in in a row. His first two walks of the ball game. Of course, you got to try and pitch carefully to fellas like Maris, Madeline, Barrow. And Howard and Scarron. There's a foul back out of play. One and one. Runners lead off first and second. Shaw's pitch is hit deep to right field. That one's gone. Up back on the hill. Way back there on the Yankees get three more runs. Yogi Berra really creamed a high fastball better than halfway back up on the hill in right field. His 18th of the year. The Yankees now lead four to nothing. Yogi now with 54 runs batted in, and it brings up Elston Howard, who homered in the second inning. Man, did Yogi hit that one? Lined up by Shaw, and a pitch to Howard. A ground ball right through Shaw's legs out to center field. A base hit. 
Oh, man, that short jumped straight up in the air. That ball was hit on a bullet right back. That's the fourth hit off Shaw. And Bill Kunkel, the right-hander, gets up in the Kansas City bullpen. As Bill Scarron comes to the plate. Moose bounced out second to first in the second inning. One away. Pitch to the Moose. A ground ball to third. Causey goes to Lumpy for one. Back to first. Double play. Around the horn, double play, but for the Yankees, they come up with three runs on two hits, the big blow, Yogi's homer. No Kansas City errors, and nobody left on base at the end of three and a half. It's New York four, Kansas City nothing. For pleasure driving that is a pleasure, you need something more than a freshly washed car in a bright sunny day. For one thing, you need to be sure that your carburetor is clean to do its job at peak efficiency. And that's why more and more motorists from New England to Florida have started to use Atlantic Imperial gasoline regularly. This quality gasoline cleans your carburetor as you drive and keeps it clean. You see, Atlantic Imperial removes the harmful deposits of dirt that get past your engine's air cleaner and build up on the lower walls of your carburetor. These deposits can cause rough idling, stalling, and gasoline waste. But once you've used Atlantic Imperial for a while, you'll feel the difference. And as long as you use it, Atlantic Imperial will keep new deposits from forming in your carburetor. See your Atlantic dealer soon. Use Atlantic Imperial, the gasoline that cleans your carburetor as you drive and keeps it clean. Kansas City in the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Hauser, Johnson, and Seaver in a face Whitey Ford with New York leading four to nothing on the strength of a solo homer by Howard and a three-run homer by Yogi. Hauser bounced out short to first in the first inning. For Kansas City, Whitey has already changed his uniform once. This is at least a three-uniform day for Whitey. 90 degrees here in Kansas City. Some ball players perspire much more than others, and Whitey is one of those. It's always a nice feeling to change from a wet, clammy uniform to a nice, clean, dry one. Whitey swings into the windup. Pitch to Hauser. Curve over. Strike one call. Fastball in there, strike two call. Nothing in two. The two strike pitch, low, ball one. A lot of the fans are coming back from the hill in right field, back into the stands. Might be a little too hot for them out there. Oh, they've seen some seats way in the upper deck in the shade. There they go. And a ground foul outside of third. Count holes at one ball, two strikes. Here's Whitey's pitch. A change up high and away. Two and two. delivery. A line drive base hits the left center field. Mantle over fast, backhands it, and Hauser's going to try for two. Here's the throw, and he's going to be in there. Man, he can go down that base pass. He literally flew through the air in his second base. A line drive double, a left center. For Hauser, his 23rd double of the year. Young shortstop having a fine year in his rookie year in the big league. Here's Darren Johnson, who lined the third in the second inning. Yankees lead 4-0. Nobody out here in the last of the fourth. Yeah. 
stretch by Whitey. They had the pickoff play at second, but Hauser was back, so Whitey didn't even bother throwing. Here's a stretch. Fastball is over strike one call. Hauser leading off second. Curve line to left field, a base hit. He'll score. Johnson rounds first and holds on, and it's a four to one ball game. A line single to left by Darren Johnson. Driving in Dick Hauser. Here's Norm Seaburn. Bounce to first base in the second inning. Three hits now for the A's off Whitey. Yankees have four hits, four runs. Stretch by Whitey, the pitch to Seabren. Outside ball one. Gowran's holding first against Darren Johnson. Bill Conkle gets up again in the A's bullpen. Whitey sets. Curve, high ball two, two and nothing. Nothing pitch. A drive to deep right. That one's gone way back there. Against the second wall. A tremendous home run. Norm Seaburn hit a tremendous home run against the back wall on top of the hill in deep right center field. His 15th home of the year, driving in Darren Johnson ahead of him. The Yankees now lead 4-3, to three, and we have action in the Yankee bullpen as Roland Sheldon gets up. Here's Haywood Sullivan, bounce to third. Takes the pitch high, ball one. They really ought to warn you when they're going to shoot those fireworks off. the windup. Pitch to Sullivan. High ball two. Two and nothing. Boy, that ball was hit. Just missed going over the second pen. And that hasn't been done too many times. A four to three ball game. We're in the last of the four. Nobody out. Fastball is over strike one. Two and one to count. Is high ball three, three and one. Norm Seaver now with 75 runs batted in on the air. Wind is blowing straight out today. Pitch, a foul back out of play when after a high fastball. Full count on Haywood Sullivan. now sits down in the bullpen. Sheldon is still warming up in the Yankee bullpen. Here's the payoff pitch by Whitey. Curve, low ball, four. He walked him. The second walk given up by Ford. And it brings up Leo Posado, who lined to the pitcher. Here comes Ralph House out of the Yankee dugout. While Hauk is walking out there, we'll pause for station identification. 1460 on the radio dial. You're in tune with Quality Modern, W-O-K-O in Albany, New York. The time, 4.30. Ralph just went out to talk with Whitey. He's letting him stay in the ballgame. 
Haywood Sullivan at first with nobody out. Yankees leading 4-3 in the last of the four. Leo Posada, the batter, right-hand hitter. Notice Johnny cautions Haywood Sullivan on Whitey's pickoff move. Don't get off too far. Here's the stretch. Pitch is bunted down the first base line. A good one. Whitey picks it up, goes to first in time to get Posada moving to second is Sullivan. Whitey was thinking of letting that roll and see if it would go foul, but he couldn't take a chance. It stayed about six inches inside the foul line. The sacrifice and the pitcher to the first baseman covering. Here's Jerry Lumpy who bounced to first. And we're going to have action in the A's bullpen again. It's Kunkel getting up again. Number 32. One away. Bang run at second base. Stretch by Whitey. Curve is over strike one call. Fastball hit on the ground to Boyer at third. Boyer bluffs. Sullivan back throws to first for the out. And Lumpy almost hit one in the hole between third and short. That's two away. And Bob Shaw is coming out to bat for himself. So Kunkel starts to sit down. Then he stays up there. Now he looks at the A's bench. And I believe he's going down to sit down. Shaw single to right field in the third inning. Harris playing a very shallow right field. On a single or right, that Sullivan's not going to score from second. And he'll have trouble from center, too, as Mantle comes in. Yogi playing the deepest of the three outfielders in left field. Two out. Pitch to Shaw. Curve swung it and missed strike one. Stretch by Whitey. Fastball is in there. Strike two score. That's that picture we're telling you about. Shaw ducked back out of the way, but it was right over the plate. Nothing in two. Now the stretch. Curve hit on the ground to the shortstop. Kubek to his left up with it. Throws to Scarlin for the out. So the A's come back with three runs on three base hits, all extra base hits, by the way. No Yankee errors and one man left at the end of four for Lenny. It's the Yankees four and the A's three. Right now, I'd like to mention that the second half of this game is being brought to you by the crisp refresher Ballantine beer. Your first swallow and every one to follow tells you why over five million glasses of Ballantine beer are enjoyed each day. Creep Boyer leads off for the Yankees. Takes the pitch low from Bob Shaw, ball one. Boyer bounced to third in the third inning. One nothing pitch, outside, ball two to Boyer. Two and nothing. Yankees scored one in the second, three in the fourth. The A's came back with three in the bottom of the fourth. up by Shaw. The pitch is right in there. Strike call. Two and one on Cleet Boyle. Curve swung it and missed strike two. A sidearm curve ball that broke away from Cleet. Two two count. the 2-2 delivery. Fastball fouled off the plate. Bounced up and hit Boyer on his left hand. Count holds it 2-2. Two and two. Again, ready for the 2-2 delivery. 
a drive to deep left center field, and that ball is going to be against the fence. Going around first, heading for second is Boyer. Cleet is around second, heading for third, and he flies and he's in with a triple. Cleet Boyer triples to left center field. And that's the fifth hit off Bob Shaw, and it brings up Whitey Ford, a single to center in the third inning. The relay was mishandled a little bit by Posada. And his throw to the cutoff man, Dick Hauser, was not a good one. And Hauser had to throw off balance, so a boy was able to slide in with a triple. And Conco gets up again in the Kansas City bullpen. The Kansas City infield is playing in. Boyer is at third with nobody out. And they've got to look for the possible squeeze. Here's the windup. Pitch to Whitey. Outside, ball one. Leading off third. Bluff coming in. The pitch to Whitey is over. Strike called one on one. He said he walked over to talk with Boyer. Cleet again leads off. Pitch to Whitey. Way outside. Looked like a pitch out. Ball two. Two and one. Flashing signs to Whitey Ford. Here's the windup. Boy, a bluff's coming again. The pitch is swung and a missed strike two. Yankees leading 4 3 in the top of the set. Runner at third and nobody out. Up by Shaw, his 2 2 pitch, a foul right over our heads back in the upper deck. Count holds it two and two. Shaw ready. The pitch is a ground ball. Over the pitcher's head, but Hauser up with it, throws to first for the out. Boyer remained at third base. It was a tough play for Cleet. It looked like Shaw had a chance to get that ball, but it just went over his outstretched glove. But Hauser playing in made the play easily. Boyer remains at third. It's one away, and here's Bobby Richardson. Struck out and hit into a double play. The infield remains in. And once again, the Kansas City infield has to look for the possible squeeze play. On deck, Tony Kubek. Here's the wind-up by Shaw. Pitch to Richardson. Inside, almost hit him, ball one. Looks over at Boyer. Here's the windup. Pitch is a ground ball base hit in the hole between the drawn in infield. Third and short out to left field. Boyer comes across the score, and the Yankees lead five to three. As Richardson continues his hot hitting, brings up Tony Kubek. Bounce to second, fly to left. One way. Richardson leading off first. Stretch. Pitch is a ground ball to first base. Steven comes up with it and goes to the bag for the unassisted put out. He just did beat Kubek there. He had turned around to look see if he had a play at second base. But Richardson was in there. And now it's two out and here's Roger Maris who bounced to second and walks. Roger scored for the 111th time this year. He was on base along with Mantle when Vera unloaded his home run deep in the right center field. Two 
rival. Sure stretches. Pitch to Maris. Full foul. Man, did he get around on that one? And it hit the screen in front of the lower box seat with such force it bounded back on top of the A's dugout, rolled all the way across the dugout to the ball boy sitting on the other end of the dugout. Man, he is really getting around on those pitches. One strike pitch, high inside, ball one, one on one. On deck is Mickey Metal. Here's a stretch by Shaw. Pitch low and away, ball two, two and one. Do not overshift on Maris with a runner at second. Richardson with a big lead. Shaw wheels around, throws, and Bobby just back in time. Richardson had a tremendous lead that time, and Hauser was playing near the bag, cut in. And Shaw's throw almost picked Bobby off. 2-1 count. Again, Shaw sets... Pitch inside. Ball three, three and one. All right, ready for the three one delivery. Change up, and it's on the outside corner. Boy, Maris was completely fooled on that pitch. It was a good pitch on a 3-1 count when a batter will definitely be looking for the fastball. Just floated over the outside corner. Full count now. The payoff pitch. Fastball hit on the ground a second. Luffy, he's got it. Throws to Stephen for the out. Nice play by Jerry Luffy. For the Yankees. In the top of the fifth, one run on two hits. No Kansas City errors. One man left. At the end of four and a half innings, it's New York 5, Kansas City 3. Take along a six-pack, jolly, jolly six-pack. Take along a six-pack, a frosty valentine. You'll have one pack of cheer, six cans of beer. So crisply refreshing any time, valentine, valentine. So nice, valentine, just right. It's a crisp refresher, valentine. Next time, take along a six-pack, a jolly six-pack of Valentine beer. It carries with ease, cools in a breeze. And best of all, it gives you six icy cold cans of the crisp refresher. Take along a six-pack, jolly, jolly six-pack of ice cold Valentine beer. In the top, bottom of the fifth inning, it'll be the top of the uh, Kansas City batting order. Wayne Causey, Bobby Del Greco, and Dick Hauser to face Whitey Ford. New York leading 5-3. Causey popped the second and walked. Here's the windup. The pitch to Causey is inside ball one. Roland Sheldon is up again in the Yankee bullpen. Whitey's fastball is over. Strike one, one and one. Whitey comes back with a change-up curve. Full foul off Causey's right foot and down to to Johnny in the coaching box. One ball, two strikes. 
Ed Hurley walked over to Wayne Causey to ask him how he is. That ball hit solid and hard. Here's the one ball, two strike pitch. Curve is high inside, two and two. the 2-2 delivery. Fastball low inside ball three and it's a full count. Now the payoff pitch. Curve hit on the ground at second base. Richardson is up with it. Flips easily to scar and it's one away. Brings up Bobby Del Greco. Line to center. Bounce to third. Howard out to the mound to talk with Ford. Now Ellie comes back to his catching position. Whitey's first pitch is right in there. Strike one call. Strike pitch is a slow curve, line to left field, there's a base hit. Yogi plays it on one hop, and Del Greco's on with a line single to left. Hit number five off Ford. Brings up Dick Hauser, bounces a short double to left center field. He scored once. Hauser. Sauron holding first against Del Greco. Stretch by Whitey. Pitch to Hauser foul as he tried to punch that ball between first and second. Strike one. Oh, man, a fan went after that one. Flipped and fell down, but he's up. Didn't get the ball. One strike on the Kansas City shortstop. Fast ball popped in back of second base. Richardson going out. Maris in, and Maris makes the catch. And Del Greco hustles back to first. Hauser was trying to go that way, and he almost dumped one in and shot right field. But it's two away. Here's Darren Johnson, line to third, single to left. He's driven in a run and scored a run. Hit with a lot of power. Two out. Stretch in the pitches. Line right at Boyer again. Boy, that Johnson has hit the ball hard three times, lining twice to Darren Johnson and singling once for the A's in the bottom of the fifth. No runs, one hit. No Yankee errors. One man left at the end of five full innings. It's New York, five runs, six hits, no errors. Kansas City, three runs, five hits, and no errors. Mickey Mantle is the lead off. Here in the top of the sixth, Mantle struck out and walked. He scored once. Five three to score here. Bob Shaw out on the mound. It's pitched to Mantle as a changeup, and it's in there. Strike one call. Shaw comes back with a fastball inside, one and one. Again, they are overshifted on Mantle. Three men between first and second. One man between second and third. One one fastball is on the outside corner. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. Sheldon is still throwing in the Yankee bullpen. Pitch 
Semecki curve inside, two and two. Wind up. The pitch is blown away, and it's a full count on Mantle. Payoff pitch to Mickey. Change up. Low ball four. He walked him for the second time. Third walk given up by Shaw. And of his three walks, one was to Maris and two to Mantle. They see how uh, occasionally they're pitching to these two. Here's Yogi. Fly to right and hit a three-run homer in the fourth inning. first with nobody out. Pitch to Yogi inside, ball one. Short set. Pitch hit Yogi right in the back. And Yogi had a big grin on his face like he kind of expected it after that three-run homer. Yogi hit by a pitch ball. Howard. Uncle is up again in the A's bullpen. Madeline second. Barra at first with nobody out. Here's Elston Howard who homered and singled. Yankees lead 5-3 in the top of the sixth. Goes Mantle and the throw to third base. He's out at third on a nice throw and a nice pickup by Wayne Carthy. Yogi did not run. Somebody missed the sign. Mantle went off with the pitch and was thrown out attempting to steal. From the catcher to the third baseman covering, Sullivan's throw was in the dirt, but Carthy scooped it out and put the tag on Mantle. Yogi remained at first base. That pitch was a strike to Elson Howard as a helmet comes flipping out of the Yankee dugout out on the field. Strike on Howard. Here's the stretch. It's to Howard, fouled back in the upper deck. Strike two. I believe that's only the second time that Mantle has been thrown out attempting this field this year. He has 11 stolen bases. The stretch by Shaw. Pitch to Howard outside, backhanded by Sullivan. Two and two. Yogi leading away. Pitch is strike three called. He got the curveball on the outside part of the plate. That's the third strikeout for Shaw. Brings up Bill Scarron. Two out, Barrett first. Pitch to Moose is low and away, ball one. By Shaw, his curve is low and away, ball two, two and nothing. Sleep Boyer on deck. Two nothing 
pitch is popped in the air and back of the plate. Haywood Sullivan throws the mask away, getting under it, and makes the catch easily for the third out. So the Yankees, who had a threat going there, in the top of the sixth, no runs, no hits, no Kansas City errors. One man left at the end of five and a half. New York five, Kansas City three. The crisp, refresher, precisely right. Lively, golden, crystally clear. The crisp, refresher, crisp, refresher, Valentine, Valentine, dear. With your first swallow and everyone to follow, today's Valentine delivers a sunny, mellow taste that really refreshes. Since people know quality when they taste it, over five million glasses of Valentine beer are enjoyed every day. So clap your hands, tap your feet, snap your fingers. That's the man for Valentine. The crisp refresher. Valentine, 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 dear. Since 1840. America's finest. Well, we have a switch out here. Roland Sheldon is replacing Whitey Ford on the mound, and not Louis Arroyo. Whitey, who seemed to be having a little difficulty out there, pitched five innings, gave up five hits, walked two, didn't strike out anybody, and allowed three runs. So Sheldon will be coming on. And he'll be facing Norm Steven, who bounced it first at a two-run homer. Sheldon making his 28th appearance of the year. Into the windup, the pitch to Steven is high, ball one. Sheldon has won nine, lost three. He's 6'4", 185 pounds. Steven steps out of the batter's box. Pitch is lined to center field. Nettle right there. Makes the catch. As Steven hit another ball right on the nose, but it's struck this time instead of taking off like a knuckleball. Brings up Haywood Sullivan. Bounce to third and walks. up by Sheldon and the pitch to Sullivan low inside. Ball one. Time out. A piece of paper from a hot dog blows out in front of the plate and Howard runs out and grabs it. One ball, no strikes on Sullivan. Fastball over, strike one, one and one. Pitch is outside ball two, two and one. Sheldon's two one delivery. Foul tip held by Howard, strike two, two and two. Two deliveries. A foul down the third base line. Count holds it two and two. two delivery. Strike three. He checked his swing, but the ball was over. And Sheldon gets the first strikeout by a Yankee pitcher today. 
Brings up Leo Posada, line to the box and sacrifice. Two out, nobody on. New York leading 5-3, last of the six. Curves to Posada in there, strike one call. Fly ball and back is shortstop. Kubek drifting back. Turns and makes the catch. So the A's get down in order. Nothing across in the bottom of the sixth. And at the end of six full innings, it's the Yankees five, the A's three. And we pause for station identification. At 14.60 on the radio dial, you're in tune with Quality Modern, WOKO in Albany, New York. Good sound broadcasting for 1961. The time, eight minutes past 5 p.m. On the scoreboard, Baltimore shut out Minnesota 3-0. Pappas the winner, Ramos the loser. Pappas at two home as Earl Robinson won. White Sox 10, Cleveland 6. Brown the winner, Grant the loser. Grant and Kirkland home it for the Indians. The Angels won the Red Sox nothing at the end of one schwall against Sherba. Detroit beat Washington 7-4 in the first game. Mossy the winner. Daniels the loser. Colavito home it. His 35th of the end. In the second game, Detroit won Washington nothing at the end of three. Four attack against this, but Colavito home it is 36. In the National League, Pirates 7, Cubs 3 in the first game. Second game, Cubs 4, Pirates 2, end of 4. Cardinals shut out the Giants 6 0. The Cincinnati Reds have gone ahead of the Dodgers 6 5 at the end of 8. What a comeback. Threes hit a three run home in the 7th. And Milwaukee leads Philadelphia 10 9, playing the bottom of the 11th. Now, Allen coming over to carry you the rest of the way on radio. Hello there, everybody. Cleet Foyer hits the first pitch on a bouncer to short. Hauser throws on over to Sebron. One away. Foyer grounded to third and tripled previously. Roland Sheldon will be coming up. Sheldon, who replaced Ford, takes the strike. Next pitch is outside for a ball, one and one. One ball, one strike. Shaw's delivery swung on and missed. Strike two, one and two. Five, three, New York. First to the seventh. Shaw's next pitch is swung on and fouled back out of play. Swings to the windup, and the pitch is swung on, grounded to short. Hauser up with it, tosses on across to Sebron, and Sheldon is retired. Two down in the seventh inning. Now the top of the order, Bobby Richardson struck out, grounded to second into a double play, and single to center. into the windup. The pitch to Bobby. Swung on. Lined over third down the left field line. Foul by foot. Strike one. No balls. One strike. Two 
out. Nobody aboard. Now the pitch on the way. Swung on and foul back. Strike two. Nothing in two. The next delivery is fouled off to the right of the plate. I think that ball spun off the bat. Shook up Haywood Sullivan a little bit. He's all right, though. Nothing into the count on Bobby. up and the pitch swung on lined over short the left center for a base hit Posada goes over to cut the ball off and Bobby's held it a single Bobby Richardson singles to left with two down on the seventh thing to bring up Tony Kubek who grounded to second fly to left and grounded to first seven hits for New York the only homers Seaburn and Berra Yogi two on, Seaburn one on. Shaw's delivery. There goes Bobby. The pitch is fouled off. There was an attempted steal. Kubek was just bluffing a bunt and still got his bat in the way of the ball. Just ticked it. He was just uh, bluffing a bunt to uh, help out the base runner as well. In other words, moving toward the ball to keep the catcher from getting good that fraction of a second uh, sooner. Nothing in one the count. Throw to first. Bobby's back. Shaw into the stretch and the pitch. Swung on as a looping fly to left. Posada coming on under it and makes the catch and the sides retire. No runs, one hit. No errors, one left on at the end of six and a half innings. New York five, Kansas City three. Bobby Richardson has had 12 hits in his last 19 uh, times at bat. Pretty good hitting. A new record for Kansas City. The paid attendance, 34,065. How about that? A new attendance record for Kansas City. They came out to see the, uh, the M squad in action, but they have uh, have been walked frequently. And when you speak about numbers, though, I think about those five million plus glasses of the crisp refresher enjoyed every day from Maine to Florida. That's because Valentine delivers everything they ask for in a beer with the very first swallow and in every one to follow. The crisp refresher has the lightness you want combined with all the mellow lager beer flavor you love. Now, this combination is important in a beer because in order to refresh you, I mean really refresh you, a beer must be both light and good tasting. Now, Valentine delivers the best of both, and that's one good reason why more than five million glasses of Valentine beer are enjoyed every day. Isn't it time you tried the crisp refresher? Enjoy a golden glass full. Soon. In the last of the seventh, Jerry Lumpy leads off. Kunkel is up and throwing, which may indicate a possible pinch hitter. In fact, uh, Rivera's out on deck to hit for Shaw. Then we'll have Causey. Roland Sheldon in relief of Whitey Ford, ready to pitch to Lumpy. Grounded to first, grounded to third. The right-hander into the wind-up. In comes the pitch, and it's inside. Ball one. One ball, no strike. Sheldon again into the windup, and the delivery. Swung on, hit down the left field line. Barra digging, a ball is behind him. He's still going and loses it. Off the glove, and Lumpy goes for two. They scored a double. Yogi tried to one-hand it and got the glove on him, but couldn't hold it. 
Lumpy is credited with a double to that. Now Jim Rivera comes up. Swings the first pitch, bounces it down to Scarron, who runs over, steps on first to retire Rivera. Lumpy advancing to third. Causey is the batter. Howard out talking to Sheldon. Causey popped the second, walked, grounded the second. Infield is back. Sheldon with the windup, and the pitch is inside. Ball one. Throw down to third, runner back. Luis Arroyo gets up in the Yankee bullpen. Now the wind up the pitch, the left hand batter swings and it's a high pop foul over near the stand. Boyer is playing the ball and has it. And they're two away. Causey fouls out to Boyer. Up comes Bobby Del Greco, flying to center, grounded to third and single to left. But Daly gets up for the Royal. Del Greco. on third, two away, seventh inning, 5-3 New York. Sheldon into the windup. Around comes the right arm. The pitch high, ball one. Dick Hauser's on deck. <laughs> Sheldon swings to the windup again. The pitch and Del Greco swings, fouls it back. Strike one, one and one. One count. Cincinnati beats the Dodgers six to five. Coming behind with three in the seventh and two in the eighth. Sheldon with the wind up the pitch. Del Greco takes high and inside. Ball two, two and one. Calavito just hit another homer. Second of the game, third of the day. This one with two on. So the Tigers are ahead by at least five to nothing after having won the opener seven to four. 37th of the season. Two one count on Del Greco. Sheldon into the windup. In comes the pitch. Swung on. Foul back. Strike two. Balls, two strikes. Two outs. Lumpy on third. Roland Sheldon in relief of Whitey Ford. Swings into the windup. Around comes the right arm. The sidearm pitches high. Ball three. Full count. Sheldon getting ready for the 3-2 pitch. End of the windup. And it comes, and it's swung on and lined out in the center. Mantle goes over and takes it for the out. Side is retired. 
No runs, one hit, no errors, one left on. And at the end of seven innings of play, New York, five runs, seven hits, no errors. Kansas City, three runs, six hits, and no errors. Happy are the hands, holding Valentine in cans. That's the line from the Jolly Six-Pack Jingle. And your thirst will be happier still when you take along a six-pack of Valentine beer. They're setting off fireworks now because of the assembly Thing was uh, drowned out by the uh, salute that went off. They set off fireworks here to celebrate the largest single game attendance ever for Kansas City, 34,065. Uh, you know, it sounded, it didn't sound anything. I mean, I was talking, but nothing, didn't hear anything. Baltimore beat Minnesota 3 0. Chicago beat Cleveland 10 6 in the first game. Los Angeles 2 Boston, nothing end of two. Detroit beat Washington 7 4 in the second game. Detroit is leading by at least 5 0 in the fifth inning. National League, Pittsburgh beat Chicago 7 3. Cubs 4, Pirates 2 end of 5. St. Louis shot out the Giants six to nothing. Cincinnati beat the Dodgers six to five in the first game. Milwaukee and Philadelphia in the twelfth, ten and ten in the first game. Bill Kunkel pitching to Roger Maris in the eighth inning. Raj tried to punt one down the third baseline with an overshift on. With run up and Daly in the bullpen now. Raj was just trying to punch one down the line to get a board. It's a big ball game, and the Tigers uh, were winning two. Kunkel's delivery swung on. There's the drive into left field. Going back is Posada. Way back, and he makes the catch in the fence. One away. Maris, who seldom hits the opposite field, pumps one, and Posada went back to the wall to grab it. One away. Rogers grounded the second, walked, and grounded the second previously. Mantle struck out, walked twice. Bob Shaw in seven innings. Gave up seven hits and five runs. The pitch to mix. Right in there. Strike one. Conco, the record of three and three. Now the delivery. Swung on and fouled off. The ball bounced up and uh, hit Mantle on the leg. Went after a bad pitch. Luke Krause loosening up in the bullpen. Two strikes on Mick. Time's call for a moment. Playing the overshift on Mantle, too. Both Maris and Mantle frequently have to swing at bad pitches to get a chance to hit it once. They've been picking up a lot of walks this past week. Two strikes. Now Kunkel ready. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled behind the plate. Sullivan goes back under it. And he has it. And they're two away. Up comes Farrah. Fly to right. Hit a three-run homer after walks to Maris and Mandel in the fourth. And is hit by a pitch ball in the sixth. into the windup and the pitch to Yogi. Low, ball one. Daly and Renup in the Yankee bullpen. Kraus in the A's bullpen. Eighth inning.
Chunko into the windup and the pitch. Swung on a ground ball hit by first into right field. Base hit. Darren Johnson returning it to Lumpy. Barra singles to right. And the batter's Elston Howard, who hit a home run in the second inning, singled to center in the fourth, took a third strike in the sixth. and one on. Eighth inning. Bill Kunkel checking with Haywood Sullivan. Shakes off a sign. Still peering in. Okay's the next one. Takes the stretch. And the pitch. It bounces away from Sullivan. Down to second goes Yogi. The throw is too late. Yogi overslid the bag but got back. A wild pitch. One ball, no strike. Two away in the eighth inning. Conco ready. Whirls around, bluff Yogi back to the bag. Lumpy shading well over towards second. Seaburn deep near the line. Howard has a lot of room on the ground between uh, Lumpy and Seaburn. Two away. Conco ready. And the pitch. Swung on and fouled off to the left of the plate. Strike one. One and one. One ball, one strike. Conco set, and the pitch. Swung on, hit over first down the right field line, and it is a fair ball. Howard turns first, heads for second, and goes in with a double as Barrow scores. And it's six to three. He had that spot open. He was trying to hit that way. But instead of hitting on the ground, he lined it over first, and it landed just inside the foul line. Howard doubles to right to score Barra, driving in his second run of the game, making it six to three, bringing up Scarron. Elston Howard having his greatest season in the majors, 56 RBIs. Scarron grounded to second, grounded to third into a double play, and fouled out to the catcher. Conco to the stretch. And the pitch. Curveball outside. Ball one. The stretch by the right-hander. And the pitch. Swung on. A ground ball hit by third to left field for base hit. Howard turns third. Hits for home and comes in to score as the Moose comes through in the clutch with a single to left. Driving in Howard. A two-out rally with nobody on that has produced two runs. Scourin, 72nd RBI, and it's 7-3 New York. Fisher gets up with Krause in the A's bullpen. Up comes Cleet Boyer. Grounded to third, triple to left, and grounded to short. Two in, two out. Conco's delivery. In there for a strike. Nothing in one to count. Conco delivers and Boyer swings and misses. Strike two. They're catching him over striding. And pulling the string on him. No balls, two strikes.
Greco delivers and Foyer swings and loops one into center. Here is Del Greco coming on to make the catch. And the side is retired. Two runs, three hits, no errors, one left on. The end of seven and a half innings. New York seven, Kansas City three. To be crisp, a beer must be icily light. Ooh, icily light. With true lager flavor, precisely right. Ooh, precisely right. Lively golden, crystally clear. The crisp refresher. Crisp refresher. Valentine, Valentine, dear. Pleasure is the purpose of the crisp refresher. Your first swallow and everyone to follow is light and crisp and golden. So pour pleasure. Pour today's Valentine. Toe clap your hands. Tap your feet. Snap your fingers. And that's the man for Valentine. The crisp refresher. Valentine, Valentine, dear. Since 1840. America's finest. It's the last half of the eighth inning in Kansas City. Dick Hauser leads off. Darren Johnson on deck and Norm Seaburn to follow. Hauser grounded to short, doubled up the left center field alley and flied to right. Ed Rocco warming up in the A's bullpen. Brennan and Arroyo for New York. The pitch to Dick Hauser. Inside, ball one. Sheldon swings to the windup and the pitch. In there, strike one, one and one. Sheldon ready to work, and the delivery swung on a high fly foul along the left field line. Yogi digging hard, still coming on, and one hands it for the out in the Yankee bullpen. Dubecker coming alongside. Renup had to duck out of the way where he was warming up. Arroyo held his position and admired the play all the way. One down. Darren Johnson, line to third, single to left, and line to third. One for three. Seven three New York, eighth inning. Sheldon pitches low, ball one. Norm Seaburn on deck. Sheldon into the windup, delivers an overhand fastball foul back out of play. Strike one, one and one. Boy, this pennant race is getting to be like a hickory nut. Hard to crack open to start with, and once you do, it's hard to get it to goodies. The delivery is bounced by third. Kubek backs up, throws to first, and the ball hits the runner. And he's on. Kubek backed up Boyer, threw from uh, not 20 feet off the third baseline. But the throw hit Johnson just as he uh, was about to approach the bag. And he's credited with a base hit. Up comes Norm Seaburn. Grounded to first, hit a two-run homer in the fourth, and fly to center in the sixth. Sheldon Reddy throws over to first, Johnson's back. Sheldon Reddy. And the pitch to Norm. Swung on a ground ball, hit back through the middle in the center, and Darren Johnson turns second and heads on to third. A single to center for Seaburn. And their runners on first and third with one out now in the eighth inning as the A's start a uh, rally again. With Haywood Sullivan coming up. Grounded to third, walk, took a third strike.
Gone away. Sheldon's pitch. Swung on a ground ball. Hit toward uh, Richardson. He pushed it, picked it up, throws to second to get Quan, but they lost the double play as Johnson scores. Bobby had a perfect double play ball, but bobbled it. Recovered in time to toss to Kubek for the force on Seaburn. Thus, instead of the inning being over, a run scores. Johnson comes home. Sullivan is on first, and the batter's Leo Posada. It's seven to four. Posada lined to third, sacrifice pops to short. Sheldon's pitch. High and inside. Ball one. pitch. It's in there for a strike one and one. This is a battle, believe you me. Sullivan moves off first. Sheldon's pitch. Low outside. Ball two, two and one. One strike, two out. Lumpy on deck. Sheldon ready. And the pitch. Outside for ball three. Three and one. One strike. Sheldon set. And the pitch swung on and missed. Strike two. Boy, he leveled on it. Full count. Ready to go. Three balls, two strikes. And the delivery. Swung on, a ground ball hits the short. Kubek up with it. Throws on to Skyron in time. And the side is retired. One run, two hits. No errors, one left on. Ten of eight innings. New York, seven runs, ten hits, no errors. Kansas City, four runs, eight hits, and no errors. Elsewhere... In the American League, Baltimore shut out Minnesota 3 to nothing. Pappas pitched a two-hitter and also hit two home runs. Earl Robinson homered. Ramos, the loser. Chicago beat Cleveland 10 to 6. Lown, the loser, in relief of Pierce in the sixth inning. Grant, or rather, uh, Lown, the winner. Grant, the loser. Funk and Allen in relief. Grant and Kirkland homering. Kirkland, the one on second game, will be Latman and McLish. Los Angeles leading Boston 2 to nothing and a two and a half. Gerber and Schwal. The hot Detroit Tigers beat Washington 7-4. Mossy beat Daniels. Colavito got his 35th. And in the second game, Detroit leads 6 to nothing and to five innings. Poitak against Sisler with Katina in relief in the fifth. And Colavito is at two more homers. Numbers 36 and 37. The 37th with two aboard. National League. Pittsburgh beat Chicago 7-3. Gibbon beat Curtis. Sano hit a pair of homers. Run with one on. Second game, Chicago 4. Pittsburgh 2 and to 5. Brewer against Mizell. McBean in relief in the third. Leopard homered. St. Louis shut out San Francisco 6 to nothing. Jackson pitched the three-hitter. Marischal, the loser. Boyer homered with two on. Cincinnati got three in the seventh, two in the eighth to beat the Dodgers 6 to five. Brosnan, the winner in relief. Jay had started. Paranowski, the loser. Williams had started. Freeze had a three-run homer in the seventh. Second game will be Drysdale and Ken Johnson. We'll give you the Milwaukee-Philadelphia score in a moment. They're in the 12th inning. Milwaukee leading 11 to 10. Sheldon up in the ninth inning takes the ball. Pitching to Sheldon. And he 
is outside with a fastball, ball two. The right-hander sidearm pitch is inside, ball three. Philadelphia, or rather Milwaukee, beat Philadelphia first game 11-10. The next pitch is outside, ball four, and Sheldon walks. Cuckles walking Sheldon to open the ninth. Here's Bobby Richardson, two for four. Causey shortened up at third. Kunkel ready, and the pitch is bunted, and it's foul. Off to the right of the plate, twisted across the foul line. Strike one. Nothing in one. Kunkel again to the stretch. Sheldon with the lead. And the pitch is bunted. And Sebron makes the play to Lumpy, covering first, sacrificing Sheldon the second. Kubek. Up comes Tony Kubek. Grounded to second, fly to left. Grounded to first and fly to left. Yankee seven, A's four, ninth inning. Sheldon on second, one out. There's a pickoff play, and they almost got him. If the throw had been on the third base side of the bag, they would have had him. But Kunkel threw to the first base side of the bag, or the right field side, and Hauser could not uh, get the ball and bring it back to the tag. Kunkel into the stretch. A pitch to Kubek. Swung on. Ground ball back through the middle in the center. Sheldon round third. Heads for the plate and comes on in the score. And it's 8-4 to four New York. Kubek singles to center to drive home Sheldon. And next comes Roger Maris. Grounded to second. Walk. Grounded to second. Fly to left. gets up in the A's bullpen. Kunkel to the stretch. The pitch to Maris is low inside. Ball one. Rod to be looking for his pitch. Kunkel ready. And the delivery. Swung on it. Foul down the right field line. Strike one. One and one. Took a little of the speed off that time. Had Rodge well out in front. Jim Coates gets up in the Yankee bullpen. One run in the ninth. 8-4 New York. A 1-1 count on Maris. Conk already. And the pitch. Swung on a ground ball. Hits the Lumpy. Lumpy to Hauser for one. Back on the first base. In time with a double play. Maris grounds into a double play. Lumpy to Hauser to Sebring. One run for New York. One hit. No errors for the A's. Nobody left on for New York. And at the end of eight and a half innings, the Yankees eight, the A's four. Hey, come on, get six back. Jolly, jolly, six back. Take along a six-pack of Frosty Valentine. You'll have one pack of cheer, six cans of beer. So quickly, refreshing any time. Valentine, Valentine, so nice. Valentine, just right. It's the crisp, refresher Valentine. Happy are the hands holding Valentine in hand. 
Next time, take along a six-pack, a jolly six-pack of Valentine beer. It carries with ease, cools in a breeze. And best of all, it gives you six icy cold cans of the crisp refresher. Take along a six-pack, jolly, jolly six-pack of ice cold Valentine beer. We pause for station identification. Good sound broadcasting for 1961. This is Quality Modern, WOKO, Albany, New York. The time, 10 minutes before 6 p.m. In the last half of the ninth inning, Jerry Lumpy leads off, grounded to first and third, and double to left. Joe Nuxall on deck to hit. For Kunkel. Sheldon to the windup, and the pitch to Jerry swung on. It's a high foul over near the stands. And the ball is going to be out of play. Strike one. Lumpy, knocks all on deck. And Wayne Causey, three left-hand batters, first three men up in the last of the ninth. Sheldon into the windup, and the overhand pitch is in there. Strike two. Nothing in two. Sheldon swings to the windup again. Here's the pitch. Fast ball inside, and it counts one and two. Two strikes. Now the wind up and the pitch on the way is high for ball two. Two two. Two balls, two strikes. Sheldon into the windup. Around comes the right arm. The pitch is swung on. Hit deep to right field. That ball is way out there and is up against the wall. Lumpy rounds first. Hits for second and goes in with a stand-up double off the right center field wall. Now Joe Nuxall comes up to bat for Kunkel. Hitting 280, 14 for 50. collecting his second straight double. 26 for the season. Roland Sheldon ready. They pitch to Nuxhall. Inside, ball one. Arroyo and Coates warming up. Sheldon has been working since they started the sixth inning. Here's the pitch. And it's inside, ball two, two and nothing. No strikes. Sheldon all set. And the next pitch is in there. Strike one, two and one. Nuxall takes a look at Jojo White. Lumpy leads away from second. The two-one pitch. Swung on, foul back. Strike two, two-two. Nobody out. Lumpy on second. Yanks eight A's four. 
Here's the 2-2 pitch. Swung on line down the right field line, and it is a foul ball just by inches. Just by inches. Wow, that was close. I can only put it this way. If it had been any less foul, it would have been fair. Boy, he ripped it. Tigers leading Washington 8-1, to one, end of six innings after having won the opener 7-4. to four. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Lumpy on second, last of the ninth, 8-4 to four, New York. Sheldon to the stretch. And the pitch. Swung on, fouled off, out of play to the left of the plate. Count remains 2-2. Two, two. Sheldon, ready. Lumpy moves off second. Here's the pitch. High ball three. Three and two. A full count on Joe Nuxall batting for Kunkel. Sheldon ready. And the pitch. Swung on, lined out into deep center. Mantle going back and grabs it for the out. One away. He hit that one hard, but straight away. Lumpy holding it second. In a closer game, he might have tagged up and uh, gone to third, but no advantage in uh, risking the effort at this point. Wayne Causey, left-hand batter. Sheldon's pitch, high, ball one. Causey popped to second, walked, grounded to second, fouled out to third. Bobby Del Greco on deck. Sheldon ready. Here's the pitch to Causey. Swung on. There's a high drive. And a deep right. Maris going back to the wall. And that ball is going to be over the wall for a home run. <laughs> Wayne Causey. Homers over the right field wall. Scoring Lumpy ahead of him, and it's eight to six. And that's going to be all for Sheldon. Wayne Crossy hitting his fifth homer, driving in 31 runs, and in comes Luis Arroyo. Sheldon worked two and a uh, three and a third inning. Giving up four hits and two runs. Uh, three runs. Ford gave up three in five innings. The Roland Sheldon departs and Arroyo comes on. Sheldon did a tremendous job in relief into this inning. So Luis Arroyo comes on again, the 53rd time this year. Del Greco and Hauser are the next two men up, with Johnson and Seaburn to back them up. Fisher warming up for the A's in the event we go to extra innings. The batter, Del Greco. Del 
Greco, fly to center, grounded to third, single to left, and line to center. Luis Arroyo into the windup, and the pitch to the right hand batter is in there, strike one. Bud Daly and Jim Coates warming up for New York. The left-hander to the wind-up and the pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike two. Curved him. goes to the windup. Around comes the left arm. The pitch is swung on a line drive to left. Yogi is going to be over his head. Ball bouncing off the wall. And Del Greco goes into second with a double. That brings the tying run to the plate. Del Greco with a count of no balls, two strikes, hits the fastball over Barra's head for a double. Here now is Dick Hauser with Darren Johnson on deck. Arroyo to the stretch and the pitch. Outside, ball one. Pitch to Hauser. It is low outside. Ball two. Two and nothing. Arroyo's two nothing pitch. Swung on. Hit foul down the left field line. Out of play. Two and one. Darren Johnson on deck. Arroyo once more to the stretch. Here's the pitch. It's high outside. Ball three. Three and one. Ready for the 3-1 delivery. Swung on, fouled off out of play to the right of the plate. Full count, three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Del Greco on second. One out, eight six. Last of the ninth, and the pitch. Swung on, bounce to third. Boyer throws across to Scarron in time as Del Greco holds second. Now Darren Johnson coming up. Norm Sebron on deck. Johnson's at two for four. And hit the ball hard every time up. Now Howard's out talking to Arroyo. set to resume play. Arroyo to the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swung on line in the left field and it's in there for a base hit. Scoring Del Greco. And it's eight to seven. Johnson lines the single to left. Making it eight to seven. And here is Norm Sebring. We've had two for four, including a two-run homer in the fourth inning. <laughs> Louis into the stretch. The pitch to Seaburn. Swung on and fouled off to the right of the plate. Strike one. 
Haywood Sullivan on deck. He's needed. Three runs in for the A's in the ninth. Eight to seven. Johnson on first, two away. Royo to the stretch. And the pitch. Inside. Screwball almost hit him. One and one. Johnson moves off first to stretch by Arroyo. Here's the pitch to Seaburn. Swung on line. Foul down the right field line. Strike two. One and two. That one was fouled by about two or three feet. Or less. One ball, two strikes. Howard out talking to Arroyo again. Seaburn hits that one on the handle. Cracked his bat, gets a new one. Two strikes. Johnson off first. And the pitch. It's into the dirt. Bounces away from Howard. And down to second goes Johnson. A wild pitch. Rocky Calavito hit his third home run of the game. And his fourth of the day. Two balls, two strikes. Norm Seaburn guarding the plate. Two down. Yankees eight, A seven. Ninth inning, the stretch by Arroyo. Johnson off second. Here's the pitch. Swung on and missed that trade. The ball game is over. And the Yankees win it eight to seven. He threw him a let up curve. Three runs for the A's. Four hits. No errors and one left on. And in an exciting finish, Luis Arroyo strikes out Norm Seaburn, who flipped his bat away high into the air in disgust. The totals. And enjoy your crisp refresher, Valentine beer, as we check them for you. The Yankees, eight runs, 11 hits, no errors, and four men left on. Kansas City, seven runs, 12 hits, no errors, and seven men left on base. Well, that winds up another Valentine baseball broadcast. Now, this is Bob Delaney saying that's all for now from the Atlantic Refining Company and your Atlantic dealer who offer you Atlantic Imperial, the gasoline that cleans your carburetor and keeps it clean. And P. Valentine and Sons, brewers of the crisp refresher Valentine beer. Enjoy sunny, mellow Valentine beer along with baseball. This is the Home of Champions Network.